Here at the Mount Vernon estate, just south of Washington, this group is excited about seeing a variety of birds. Wow. Stuart Davis has even traveled to other countries in search of birds. They come in so many different shapes and sizes. Their feathers are so beautiful. They do uh, remarkable things like uh, their acrobatic flying. The bald eagle, the national symbol of the United States, has been making a comeback in recent years after once being on the endangered list. The birders see one in trees across the Potomac River. I think it might be a juvenile eagle. Some 70,000 bird enthusiasts in more than 2,400 locations took part this year in one of the world's largest, longest-running citizen science efforts. I think it's really exciting to know that you're part of an event that includes thousands of people all over the country. A list is kept of every bird seen or heard. Scientists use the data to better understand avian population trends. Harry Glasgow has been taking part in the Christmas bird count for a decade. I think it's a, a tremendous use of a lot of unofficial talent uh, around the nation to uh, keep track of birds. Birds are one of the surest indicators or barometers of the of the health of the ecology. Gary Langham, chief scientist at the National Audubon Society, agrees. He says analysis of bird count data from the past four decades led to the conclusion of last year's report, Common Birds in Decline. The Audubon Climate Report says that half the birds in North America, 314 out of 588 species, are seriously threatened by climate change. The impact sort of cut across all birds, all sizes, all kinds, all places. The data show that because of warmer winters, North American birds are shifting their winter ranges farther north. Birder Jamie Reedy has noticed the difference in Virginia. You get to see them uh, often at odd times of the year, something a little, bit, uh, a little earlier, staying a little later. Langham says other factors are also affecting bird populations. You can imagine the birds that live along the beach or along the rocky shoreline as uh, sea levels are rising around the world, that is uh, impacting them you know, doubly so. You think about how much we've reduced wetlands, for example, uh, upwards of 95% uh, across the globe. Langham says the fossil fuels contributing to climate change must be curtailed, and he calls for more conservation efforts to protect birds and their habitats. Without these steps, he warns, a number of bird species will be gone by the end of this century. And birders can't imagine living without them. Deborah Block, VOA News, Mount Vernon, Virginia.